It is Tuesday, June 12th, and we're back again with another episode of uh, how the Daily Snap Picks, Daily Snap Picks, what we're doing. I uh, might be a bit loopy today uh, because I didn't sleep and just came back from the gym, so I'm kind of low energy, but nothing I can't handle. So let's just dive right into it. Boo, boo, boo. Checking out Facebook. One minute weather, whatever. Okay. Uh, North Korea officials try an airing difference on Eve. Yep, there's been a lot of coverage on North Korea talks. We saw that in yesterday's uh, news feed. Uh, but it seems like it's sort of a slow news day if, uh, if this is coming up, if North Korea is coming up as much. Uh, more Donald Trump, North Korea visits, probably see Taika Waititi as Hitler in his first photo for, oh wow, I, I love Taika Waititi, uh, great job on, uh, Thor Ragnarok and, uh, and, uh, that, that vampire movie with, uh, Jermaine, um, but entertainment news, uh, nothing regarding Nazi Germany, I don't think it's, as controversial anymore. It's just um, entertainment news is, is very specific to people's tastes. So we're skipping it. More Trump articles, skipping Trump articles uh, for now. I like to try and keep the news diverse. GST won't stop. Uh, saw that yesterday. Panta jail to submit revised bid to acquire Ruchi. So we saw that yesterday. Saw this, saw that, saw that. Judge stops deportation. Okay, saw this, that. Uh, Joby's right, just Trump, okay, Trump. Trump supports to 629 this year. Okay, well, this is the only story we haven't seen before. And uh, it's not about Trump. Um... Okay, this is sad. I know uh, there is a lot of issues regarding immigration in, in Europe right now. Uh, so, wow. Okay, well this is this is touching. Um, it's definitely gonna make it. I'm um, trying out a different mailing system. That's why it might look different today. Uh, trying out Mailer Lite instead of Mailchimp. Let's see. Uh, let's see how we like it. Just, just testing different systems. I'm not saying anything's better, one way or another. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's that's about it. Got to got to try different things, and that's the only way to find out what's best. Um, Trying to get the image there. Alrighty. Uh, Buzzfeed. I hop finally revealed their new name for his. Okay, very Buzzfeedy news. And I don't think people come to the Daily Snap for Buzzfeed unless there's something really really funny in it uh, that I think everyone can relate to and not just um, early 20 year olds um, or myself. Uh, Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump need at least, okay, more Trump, more Trump, more Trump, Jeff Flake, Trump, 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 Tyson Trina, Russia, somehow this could end up speaking about Trump, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, Samsung rejects 539 million Apple patents infringement verdict demands a retrial. Whoa. Seven-year-long battle between Apple and Samsung over the Korean company infringing iPhone patents seemingly isn't over yet. Huh, that's interesting. 9to5Mac always seems to have articles that make it to some of the most shared uh, news, which is interesting because all their articles are about Apple products, and as you can probably tell, I'm, I'm using an Apple product. I don't not saying it's better than uh, Microsoft uh, products. I'm not, I'm not taking a side. It's just um, it's interesting how uh, a product-specific blog can can get so many shared shared uh, 
shares across social media. Has um, until June 21st to respond to the motion, hearing back. Okay, well. Seems like Samsung's upping the ante and asking for a refund for some legal fees. It's not like Apple needs the money. They're, they're definitely printing the money right now. Uh, they're in no need of additional funds. But uh, business is business, so I get where they're coming from. Um, On to the next. Okay. Opinion so radical that Clarence Thomas wouldn't join it. Okay. SEC officials calls for clampdown on company officials who cash in on stock buybacks. This is interesting. Financial regulation is something that uh, is close to Truba because. Uh, our, our initial product is, uh, is was focused for financial regulators and helping them find uh, find information that's important to them. Uh, sure, five bucks. I have insurance. You need to put money back. Tax bill made it through Congress. SEC speech running calls for reform that should time out allow corporate buybacks. Corporate executives are using tax cuts and share buybacks to boost their own compensation. Uh, so this is a w way of a share buyback is a way of not paying tax, but still earning. So if you can get end up getting taxed at a lower rate than uh, than if they were just paid a salary. And that's uh, that's how you end up with some CEOs getting paid uh, getting paid less tax proportionally than uh, than people getting paid less than them, which is not how you'd expect it to go. Um, all right, but it's great that the SEC is looking into it. If anyone could do anything about this, it is the SEC. Uh, the financial regulator, they are a reference internationally for financial regulation. A lot of other regulators um, uh, reference them as, as, as the source. They just have a huge uh, multi-billion dollar budget. Um, which allows them to staff many analysts, um, and they have the ability to actually enforce, make sure people follow the regulations. People, they're well respected, so hopefully the SEC can do something about uh, the stock buybacks. Um, a four page Catholic Church sexual abuse report to be released. Oof, that's an in depth report. The detail decades of clerical sexual abuse cover ups from. Rosie, who is now a state legislator, has become a staunch advocate of the rights of sexual abused. Uh, wow. There's a mystery of sexual abuse case, but it's not going to be expensive. Because it, it is going to be expensive, said Rosie. Okay. I, I just keep ending up putting Guardian articles in, uh, in the Daily Snap. Uh, and it's completely unintentional. It's just, I, for some reason, there's always something super interesting in it. But in an effort to not put a guard, an article from The Guardian in this week, uh, today, I'm going to keep reading. And if I don't find anything else, then it's going to make it in. Uh, what's wrong? Quest of LGBTQ inclusivity. So there's international champion match. Okay, so... WrestleMania. I mean, it's cool that uh, LGBTQ is, is also inclusive within WrestleMania. I think, and and from what I remember, I think it's it's LGBTQ Month, Inclusivity Month, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but uh, I, anyways, so uh, it doesn't seem huge news to me. Uh, maybe wrestle fans can correct me on that. Um. And uh, if, if people think that this should have made the Daily Snap, then, then tell me about it. But uh, I'm going to skip it for now. We're currently ruled by the dumbest people available. Oh, that's no lies. Uh, I have been voter purging may be illegal. Voter roll purging. What's a voter roll purging? 
Monday upheld a Ohio law that allows state officials to purge voters from voter registration lists for dubious reasons. Hmm. The Motor Voter Act forbids states from using non-voting as basis for removing a voter from the rolls because Ohio also sends a card to registrants who have not voted for two years before purging them. Ah, so if you haven't voted in the past, you won't be allowed to vote again. So that can allow them to keep the same political uh, party in place. That's interesting. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to open that. Saw this. Yeah, we saw that. Okay, well, um, this one is looking good. Why are Republicans so concerned against voting? Alright, that's pretty good. That's another one. It might be a fast one today. I guess I'm, since I'm uh, a bit tired, I'm not reading as much as I uh, usually do. Maybe that's, that's what's happening. But honestly, I'm not sure if people tell the difference in quality on the Daily Snap if they're reading it. If, if they're not watching these videos, if they can tell a difference in quality, then I'll be impressed and I'll put more effort towards the selecting. Um, all right, did I copy this? All right, good. And this is the Washington Post, right? Washington Post. Uh, all right. All right, last one. Uh, this is this is looking good. Oh, you know what? Feeling fairly confident this will be here tomorrow. So we're going to be able to, to skip skip it for uh, for today. And then if it's still there tomorrow and there's nothing else, then it might end up making it in tomorrow's day's snap. Just say passengers. No, no. Uh, this is, this is, I have a hard time believing this is the most shared on, uh, on uh, LinkedIn. There, there's a serious issue with a share count on LinkedIn and the way we're able to collect it for some reason it's putting all articles as having like two shares which doesn't make sense like uh, I've definitely seen articles with more shares than that on LinkedIn and then once you see a whole bunch of like stock price listings like nobody's interested in stock price listings they're, they're not sharing that on LinkedIn they, they have uh, traded platforms to share that kind of news the farm bill for billionaires. Okay, so I'm just going to avoid that for now. What I'll try and do to get different news, I'm going to put a positive note. I'll look at Reddit, see if there's any feel-good stories in Reddit. Uh, London, massive crowds gathered to hear greet Wilders demand Tony Austin's release. Wilders told the crowd he had come to Britain to tell Robinson supporters we'll never walk alone. Our target demographic is... Uh, is uh, is North America. There are special ties with the UK, but uh, it really has to be something special for us to put it in the Daily Snap. Minecraft trying to do free speech to hear Dutch firebrand demand the release of Tommy, Tommy Robinson. Who's Tommy Robinson? Free Tommy Robinson. Who's Tommy Robinson? Uh, it's uh, Aiden Dean's broken packing booze. Who is Tommy Robinson? Okay, well, if I don't know, uh, not that I'm the source of all knowledge, um, I'm not sure how many pe other people know. You know what, let, let me just look up who Tommy Robinson is to make sure I'm just not being a, a huge ass. Uh... This interview see Andrew McMaster and Paul Harris is a far right activist and co-founder of his spokesperson leader. Oh, just a political guy, British political guy. Not gonna, 
not going to be that interesting to uh, North American readers. I think it deserves every bit of our contempt. I think the post uh, very opinion pieces. Um, E3, uh, Microsoft acquires Playground Games on Dead Labs. Well, that's uh, Microsoft really on a roll acquiring things these days. Um, E3 uh, is a very gamer centric, so I'm not sure that's what people look for in the news. They make gamers have their own news sources for that. Um, Trump and America's closest aim is in G7. Okay, King I actually gets and Morty to wish Kanye happy birthday at six. What? I mean that I this is very millennial focused. I have to so I made him thank you, we can wear his favorite show. Where's uh where's where's the where's the Rick and Morty? I don't want this. Uh, uh, Nick Ken, Javal, Mikey, you won an NBA title together. What a world. Uh, um, a bunch of sports news. Sports is great, and it always makes it to the news. Um, but you you end up having to pick the the winning team if you're gonna if you're gonna if we're only showing five art news articles a day. We won't be able to support all teams, so I don't think it's it's wise to uh, to put in the sports right now. Hence, uh, Lookman hope ahead of next season. Theresa May speaks out uh, for people applied Love Island to the Knox Bridge. Um, let's just try this again. Ah, uh, here it is. Well, if this is having a hard time loading for me, and I don't have an ad blocker on or anything, might have a hard time loading for other people. Hey, Morty, <clears throat> it's Kanye's birthday today, Morty. Huh? You know what that means. Oh, uh, gee, Rick, don't, please. Come on, Morty, you got a place to be right now. Jeez. Oh, Kanye's birthday, Morty. Oh, man. It only happens once every seven years, Morty. Crawling oh. through the window right now. Oh, Kanye's birthday time. I don't think we should be in here, Rick. Crawling now across the floor towards his bed. He's got nice sheets. Uh, okay, you know what? It's gonna make it. I know Kanye West is all over the news, but it's not as bad as Trump. And honestly, I wish I put the Guardian article in there because it's more along my interest. But I gotta diversify the feed. Uh, it doesn't make sense to only put stuff I want to see. Um, and a lot of my friends are... Uh, millennials, like it or not, so um, that's most of the subscribers for the time being. Doesn't mean it'll always be the case, but that's why uh, articles like this are going to make it for the time being. Um, until somebody else helps me uh, pick the news, of course. Well, that's it. We managed to pick uh, the news articles for today on uh, Tuesday, June 12th. Thank you very much, and I will see you uh, next time, tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.